Okay, as we move across the viewport toolbar, I'd like to take a nice left to right progression of each button. Now, this video is going to be very short because all I'm going to talk about is the real time button, and I'm here inside DM Sanctuary. So if you'd like to follow along, make sure you have that open. The real time button allows you to preview any moving effects that you may have, as well as things like ambient sound. So if we kind of rotate around, just kind of look behind us. You see we have some ocean out here, kind of a, a nice water effect, and there's a particle system way out here arising from this tower, but right now none of it's moving. The, the water is perfectly stationary. If I switch on real time, we see those effects in motion. So any animated textures or materials, they're going to update. The particle system out here is emitting some really cool blue smoke kind of effects. The lens flare on the sun is actually behaving properly now. And if we fly back over to the level and get within range of them, we can hear the ambient sounds, if you listen. So any effect that is moving, including particle systems, materials, they're all going to update as soon as you switch on real time. But it has other uses as well. Let me switch off real time here inside the perspective view. And then let's fly out here to this kind of pier-like area where we have these four pillars. Now I'm going to select this pillar up here in the upper left corner and then in the top viewport let's navigate so that we can see that as well. So you can see it being highlighted. Now in the perspective view I'm going to tap spacebar until I see the move widget and I'm just going to click on the green arrow which allows us to move along the y-axis and I'm going to slide this object to the right. Now as I'm moving it, I'm still holding down the mouse button, take a look up in the top viewport. Do you notice anything moving? No, it's perfectly still. As soon as I let go of the mouse, though, the object jumps to its new location. That's all well and good, but if you're trying to really have some serious precision in moving the objects, it would be nice if you could get real-time feedback. If we come up here to the top view and we switch on real-time, now watch as I move the object. The viewport updates with every single tick so that as I slide the object around, I know exactly where it's going. So it's just one more use for real time aside for just seeing the kind of things that will be moving when the player's running around your world. So that wraps up this video. Thanks a lot.